Welcome to our tutorial about external rules. External rules are documented independently and they're stored outside of inventor documents. You can run them manually or you can call them from internal rules. In this tutorial, I'm going to create an internal rule that saves document parameters in an XML file. Secondly, I'll create an external rule that logs these parameters into a newly created file. Let's begin by adding a new rule. Right click on our part and select Add Rule. I'll accept the default name and click OK. Now let's expand the parameters node of our snippets tree. Double click Save XML Snippet. Let's break the line here with a space, underscore, enter. Now I'm going to specify the path where we'll save the XML document. Let's expand the document branch. Double click on path. Space, ampersand, space. And let's edit this string. Now, if instead of a generic name for my XML file, I want to use some specific name like a part name, let's see how we can do that. We've got my double quotations, space, ampersand, space. Let's declare some variables up here. For example, dim a as string. And now the next line, a space equals space. Let's expand i properties and double click on part number. We'll use this variable to name our XML file. Let's click OK. Oh, I forgot to show you the parameters I created. Let's take a look at the parameters window. Length, height, and width. So those are the parameters we're going to export to the XML file. I don't need D4. I'm going to manually delete that from the XML file. I could also make my parameters what's called key parameters and use slightly different types of snippets for that. Let me just illustrate this quickly. Expand the parameters branch. Here are snippets that save key parameters only. Basically, here we've got argument three. Let's cancel out of this and open up the XML document. I've just opened this using Notepad, which is on every PC. As you remember, we worked a bit with XML documents. Here's the parameter D4 and its value. Let's select and delete it. What we need to get are the parameter start and end tags. Let's delete all of that. And let's save it. Before I go ahead and create the external rule, let me just show you something. Here's a bitmap, an image. It's called My Rule. And it's pretty small, 16 by 16 pixels. So what this image is for, it's to work as an icon for the external rule. And this works as long as the rule name and the image file have the same name. We're on the external rules tab of the iLogic browser. Let's right click here and select create new external rule. Let's give it a name, my rule. Under Save as Type, you see that we can save the rule with the extension iLogicVB, .vb, or .txt. If you need a specific extension, you can just type it in here. So, for example, .txt. Let's click Save. And here's my external rule. Let's expand the Parameters branch. Double-click Load XML. Let's break the line with a space, underscore, and press enter. And once again, let's expand the document branch of the tree. Let's bring in the path snippet with a double click. Space, ampersand, space. Let's adjust our path. The file name is 01. So we'll type that in here. And our external rule is ready to go. Let's click OK.
Here you see the bitmap that I spoke about earlier. Now let's create a new part document, a standard part in millimeters, and click Create. Our new document is not yet saved, so if I try to run my rule, it won't be able to find the location of my file. Let's try it out and see what happens. Right-click on My Rule and select Run Rule. And here is our error message, could not find the file. Let's click OK. Now let's save our document first. Click Save. We'll give it a name, let's say 02. Click Save. Now let's right click on My Rule and select Run Rule. And let's open the Parameters window. Here's our user parameter list. Let me mention one more thing before we wrap up. Even though we've got names, units, and values here, these parameters don't actually point to anything. I can simply create these parameters from scratch as well. And this concludes our tutorial about working with external rules. Let's click Done, and we'll see you back in our next tutorial.